What's up, man? It's your big bro, Trend. You tuned in again to another Divine exclusive video. Only made for the chosen ones. If you a true chosen one, you gonna understand what I'm saying in this video. If, if you not a real chosen one, it's probably gonna be like, what is he talking about? Like, I don't understand what he's saying. But you still might be a chosen one if you're watching this video. If, it, if you can resonate with just a little bit of what I'm saying and like your spirit, it still wants to know more about what I'm about to tell you in this video because maybe you experienced it before. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. It's your big bro trend, man. This video is for chosen ones. Listen. So listen, man. Again, only if you're a true chosen one, you have experienced this because everybody can't make this happen. You got to be a chosen one in order to experience what I'm about to tell you in this video. All right. Have you ever noticed when you go places, you change the whole atmosphere? Like literally, you see the atmosphere shift from being like this to just changing and being like that, like all of a sudden. And you just be like, yo, what, what is it about me that's making this happen? Then I'm talking to you. All right. Have you ever went somewhere and it was nobody there? This could have been a this could have been a library or a function or anything, man. When you showed up at the place, you seen that there was nobody there, right? And then it's crazy because listen, all of a sudden, a whole lot of people start to arrive. Like 20 people, 30 people, 40 people. You're like, yo, where they come from? What what oh, how is this possible? How is this possible? Listen, it's the it's a reason why this happening. I went, I, cause I went to AutoZone. I went to AutoZone um, yesterday. It's cause I had to work on my car or whatever. It wasn't nobody at AutoZone. It was dead. It was so dead that me and the guys that worked there, we was just having a casual conversation in the store, just talking about, you know, cars and stuff like that. Lo and behold, 10 minutes later, less than 10 minutes later, a swarm of people just come to the store. And somebody even asked him, like, yo, is y'all been y'all been busy all day? He was like, no, man, it wasn't like this until he came. And they just pointed at me. But I'm saying that all to say, you probably been experiencing the same thing too. Listen, man, this is real. This is how you know you a true chosen one. It's only two things that'll happen when you pull up on the scene or when you go out anywhere if you're a true chosen one. Only two things will happen. Those two things will be. Either people that's there when you arrive is going to leave. Okay? Them the Decepticons. All right? Them the people that don't want to be around you. Them the people that don't want to be exposed because they can feel your energy. They know it's something different about you. But they can't. If they can't pinpoint who you are or why you make them feel like that, they're going to leave the scene, bro. You probably done seen it a thousand times. You done probably been out places and just seen people just chilling minding their business or they look like they was minding their business but they people can feel energies and then it's like when you sit down when you sit down you just be like yo dude just got up and just left bro with his girl like wow and i and you know it was because you sat down you get what i'm saying listen it's only two things that can happen people can leave the scene when you pull up and or you're gonna either notice a lot of people just swarm around you that's because chosen ones change the atmosphere because you got you got like a god power anointing over you you feel me like you know what i mean you activate the whole place around you because you got that god power on you you know what i'm saying that's the power of a chosen one that's the power of a chosen one and you probably like, yo, I don't even be trying to do this. Like, I'm not even trying to do it. You probably wonder, like, yo, why is this happening? I, I'm not even trying to do this. Like, but you, you know, it's just something that you deal with. You like, you don't even trying to do it. You're not even trying to. You're not even trying. Most of the time, you probably go out. You probably like, yo, I don't want to step on nobody's toes today. I don't want nobody to talk to me. You know, like, I'm just trying to be normal. I'm, I'm trying to just chill. I'm not gonna say too much. You probably done said that to yourself. Like, you know what? I'm just going to, if anybody talks to me, I'm not going to get their number. I'm just going to hide and buy. I ain't got time. But it seems like no matter what you do, you cannot escape it. You can't get away. You know why? Because you, you change the atmosphere everywhere you go. It don't matter where you go. 
you can change the atmosphere because you got the God, you got that God activating power inside of you. You feel me? You could be go, you could be at an airport and all the flights will say they delayed, right? You like, yo, this flight's delayed. Everybody like, yeah, the flight's delayed. You can hear people talking in the background. Yeah, oh my God, the flights are delayed, honey. Wow. Then about like five minutes later, you'll start hearing announcements. They like, oh, flight is leaving. And then, or it might be like a, a customer service person there working at desk. Be like, come on over here. I can get you on. Come on, come on, come on. You ever notice that when you go out, chosen one, people find so much favor over you before everybody else. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Everybody's standing in the line, right? Everybody's standing in the line for some reason. Like, you would know, like, what? What they in the line for? They waiting on to get in this spot, right? And all of a sudden, somebody see you like, yo, you such and such. I know you from somewhere. You don't might not know this person from a hole in the wall. Can in the paint. Come on, man. Let's go. I already got a table in there. You be like, yo, damn. I'm trying to chill. I'm trying to be low key. You can't be low key when you're the chosen one. People go either everywhere you go, man, the place is going to have favor on you. You're going to even get free shit most of the time. You know what I mean? You might get a tab or something where it's like 40, 50 dollars or something like that. Then the bartender be like, are you good? Be like, what? You good? You know what I mean? All kind of weird shit happen for the chosen one that no human can do. Regular people can't do this. You know what I'm saying? You go to Wendy's and order a, a classic combo. Hell. You get the, you open up the bag and look at the burger. It got three pieces of meat on it. Three pieces of meat on it. Why? Give me that. Let me eat that. Oh, I, I, I. Where they do that at? Then you got an extra large fry. Like the, I ordered a small. I was trying to watch my figure, my weight. They done gave you an extra large fry. You know you trying to watch your weight. Weight watchers. You eat it anyway. Uh -uh, you can't have none of these. Shit. That's that favor of the chosen one, man. Everywhere you go, you change the atmosphere. Everywhere you go, man. Like, you ever you ever went somewhere? Look, the bees flying on me. Oh, that's another thing that happened. Animals will come to you. Insects will fly on you. You be like, what? They be thinking it be Jesus over there sat down. It be you chilling. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, you got the birds and stuff flying. Up. We ain't going to throw some bread there. We know you got the bread of the Lord. Oh, you, we, don't, you can't hide it from us now. We know people now. Ducks going to be coming up to you. Quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Now, the ducks ain't going to nobody else in the lake or the pond. Oh, Lord. You get out the car. You go walk to the lake. Ducks come hopping over there. Quack. Quack, quack. Chose the one here. Y'all come out. Yeah. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. I ain't got no damn bread. Then the universe be talking to you in your intuition. You should have brought some bread. You know they love you. All the animals. All my animals love you. Look what God be saying. So, real talk though. Man, your chosen ones change the atmosphere. You change people's attitudes. You change people's personalities. Why you think you probably attract so many people that's broken in your life and you ain't got nobody to be with? All the people that ever came to you, all the guys that ever came to you, all some shit was always wrong with them. Damn. You always got the Kool-Aid, but it don't got no water to work. Damn. Your water ain't working? Damn, Arthur. How much time am I going to use the bathroom? Oh, we just go to my boy house next door. What? Damn, I thought you was the one. Everybody be broken when they come to you if you're the chosen one. Why? Because they naturally attracted to you because they fit, they sense that you can fix them. Because they, because you got that God activating power on you, you change the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? You might go to like some family plate functions and stuff like that, some events with friends. Everybody in there scared. Ain't nobody talking. Everybody. Does anybody got anything to say? Everybody be like, no, no, I don't want to talk. All of a sudden. When you start talking and saying, yeah, I got a question. I got a question. Everybody be looking like, hmm? 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 Then everybody, all of a sudden, everybody start asking questions. Yeah, me too. And yeah, me too. That happened to me. <laughs> everybody start laughing. Ha, 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 yeah. How all of a sudden, the, that atmosphere changed from just being dull and bland and all plain. Now everybody excited and stuff. It's because you there. The chosen one. 
That's the only reason why they're excited is because you there. You you put you brought the light to the darkness. Because you the chosen one. Chosen one changed the atmosphere because they got that God power energy. You ever been in a relationship with somebody? Right? You're in a relationship with somebody or dating somebody or something like that. And and you you seen they weren't doing no good at all, period. But then when they got with you, it's like they just elevated, bro. And you felt like hey, they ain't did shit for you. Like, damn. I can't get nothing out of the titty. Hey. But it's like they did. They started to grow up. They started to blow up. You know what I'm saying? Everything about them just became better. You know what I'm saying? And it just be like, yo. Like, damn. You making people greater. You making people have dreams and goals now. Then you look back at them after y'all done broke up. You be like, damn. Look at that little grasshopper done turned into a big grasshopper. They actually kind of got it now. They got it together. Well, good job. I love you. From a distance, unconditionally. But wow, I changed his life. I mean, this is how it is. All the time with a chosen one, they, you change the atmosphere, period. And then next thing you know, that same person you was talking to, they friends with your friends. How the hell you still friends with my friends and I don't even talk to you no more, you damn Decepticon? <laughs> like, damn, how you still friends with my friends? Hell no, that's a technical foul. You're not supposed to do that. But that's all the friends that they ever had was when they came around you. See, when they came around you, you put them on game. You put them on sweepstakes. They started taking trips and everything. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, they ain't never been nowhere in their whole life. Now, all of a sudden, you see them traveling and stuff. <laughs> Where they do that at? It's because the chosen one changes the atmosphere everywhere you go, bro. Everywhere you go, you change the atmosphere. It don't matter where you go. It don't matter what you do. You change the atmosphere everywhere you go. You will see people go from being angry to being extremely happy. You will see people go from being quiet to start talking. You know what I'm saying? You'll see people coming to you, brushing up to you, just because they can feel, they can sense there's something different about you. You ain't going to be able to get away from a conversation. When as soon as you get on the scene and people start filling you out, they start feeling that good, positive energy on you. They start feeling your high vibration. You feel me? They're going to want to talk to you. Hey, where you from? Man, where you from, man? You be like, I don't want to talk, man. Man, where you from? I'm from North Carolina. Oh, man, I got cousins. Down there. Oh, shit, here we go. Conversation about to go on longer and longer again. Yeah, I got a cousin down there. And then, then, see, my daddy grew up there. My daddy was in the army. He went to Camp Lejeune. And let me see. He was in the army. And then he went down to Miami. You know, and that's my first time going to the beach. See, I ain't never been down to the beach. You, uh, you got family down there, too? Like, I didn't come to talk. Damn, I didn't come to talk. But that's how it be for the chosen one. You change the whole atmosphere everywhere you go because you got that God anointing spirit on you, bro. And everybody be curious to try to figure out what makes you so different from everybody else. Like, why do you feel, why do you make me feel like this? And you don't even be trying to. But that's how you know you the chosen one. And like I said, like I said, also people can also leave your presence too. You know what I'm saying? You'll notice people just leave. Uh-uh, let's go. Because they think you're going to come in and just take the shit over, bro. They think you're going to come in and just take it over. You ever, ladies, you ever been out You ever been out with, um, you know what I'm saying, by yourself or whatever, and you see another chick chilling with her man, what's she doing? All up on him. <laughs> she doing that shit to try to make you jealous because she think that you going to come and take her man. She think that her man is going to be looking at you. Why? Why? Because you pretty, because you got that good chosen one energy. And you change the atmosphere. You don't change this whole broad mood. She kissing him and stuff in front of you. You wasn't do y'all. You was not that happy with him. You was not taking advantage. You was not pick, pick, building him up before I showed up. You was not doing it. Stop that. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. Act like she building him up. Act like she love him. No, you just doing that because I took I took a picture and put it on Instagram. Now you all of a sudden you love him now. <laughs> don't send don't send him no message now because uh he he <laughs> Yeah, don't send him no message now. Damn Decepticon. That's what they Decepticons do. Yeah. Because you change the whole atmosphere, dog. Everywhere you go, bro. 
either the, either two things gonna happen. Either people gonna leave your presence, or you're gonna have people come into your presence. And you blessed too. You'll notice, you'll notice people start getting blessings and shit. You know what I'm saying? When you come around their presence, you'll notice their life get better. People, man, you'll see people getting blessed around you and they don't even deserve it. You just be like, yo, you hell, bro. You don't even deserve no blessing. What the hell? You, you did what? Man, I got the job. Nigga, you got that job because you was hanging with me that day. Eh? You have the Septicon. As soon as you leave their life, they, they lost it. It ain't work that no more, man. I'm like, the boss fired me, man. I was like, he ain't even give me 30 days, man. Hey, but when that time you coming over, man, give me some more blessings. Yeah. You ever notice that? People get blessed when you come around in their presence. And then as soon as you leave that presence of that place, that shit tear down. That shit tear down like a, like a, like a damn a box of beer that ain't got no beer in it. You got to break that bit down like a cardboard. Place just go to hell. They shut it down. Why did the place, why did the job shut down? Why did the job shut down? Because Lalita left. She left. And y'all already know, y'all already know she was the chosen one. That's why they shut it down because she left. And everybody else followed her because she had the good energy there. She was the one that was keeping it up. But see, the boss started hating on her. And so guess what? She had to leave and get up out of that hell hole. And then look. The boss and them lost his job and the whole company shut down because they did the chosen one wrong. See, you just don't know chosen one how much power you got, man. Speak or let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below if you got power like this, man. If that's how you know you're a real true chosen one. Make sure you share this video. It's your big bro trend. It's hot out here. I got to go in. I got to go in, man. It's hot. Whew. This Arizona, man. This weather be hot out here. It don't even care who you is, bro. I had to put... I had to put sunscreen on, bro, and I'm black. That's how you know it's serious out here, boy. Anyway, though, just know, bro, you change the atmosphere everywhere you go. You make people happy everywhere you go, man. They be excited to see you come in the door, man, everywhere you go. And you're bound to get a handout and get some shit for free everywhere you go, but don't come to me and ask me for no handout. It's your big bro, Trans G, man. Peace.